We are going to tackle the pantry today. I have two problems that I've been living with for about a month. Number one, not everything has a designated home in the pantry, so bread ends up on multiple shelves. I can never find where the pasta is. The other problem is I need to make it easy to get things in and put back into the pantry so this doesn't happen again. And I need to um, organize it, give everything a home. That is the answer to everything. <laughs> When it comes to stuff in minimal minimalism, give it a home. I go through this pantry exercise about two or three times a year, and we just take everything out, clean it, and start over. Okay. It just gets messy because kids help put stuff away, or they put their own things back, or I also don't put things where they belong. So I've recruited some help from my kids for this project today. I'm definitely not above bribery. I have bribed these two children with a piece of candy to help me empty out this pantry today. This is not good. Doing great, Bex. Keep up the good work. These are heavy. Mm. But I'm using it again. You can make it to do a volcano. Step one complete. Emptied it, except for the soups on the shelf. I, I knew I was going to keep them there, so I didn't take them out. All right, we did good. Step two for me after the shelves are cleared is to clean the shelves before I start organizing and putting things back in. I use a few different types of cleaning materials depending on what the job is or what I have available. Today I had some extra Lysol wipes that were left over from a bin I'm trying to finish up so I just use the rest of those. Sometimes I use my microfiber cloths with a homemade cleaning solution. It really depends what I have. So looking at everything that I took out, I'm just trying to think of some categories that might get organized on the shelf so that when I start to grab things, I have a little bit of cohesion in putting things back together. The first one I popped back into the pantry was oils and vinegars. That This is where it's always stored, and so that was really easy to put back together. And this time, I am labeling so things have a home. This is my trusty label maker. I've had this thing for years. It has yet to fail me. Knock on wood, it keeps on going. And I just buy new cartridges of the sticker paper for the labels. And uh, so now on this third step, I'm just labeling and organizing as I go, doing the big categories I know I already have nailed down, like soups and breads and oils and vinegars and baking. Those are some big categories that I can label, get off the table and back into the shelves, and then I'll fill in the blanks from there. We're on bread, so if you can locate all the bread, because we also have about 10 loaves in the freezer. It was on sale. This is the bread we like. It was on sale, so I bought a bunch, but I didn't think it through. I don't have a place to keep it, and the freezer's full. So, anyway, we're gonna put bread there. Cool. Thank you. you Perfect. <laughs> My eight year old is serenading me with his guitar practice while I'm doing this project. It 
was great. What do you want now? Extra size. 22. 22. Let's hear it. The Hubster likes these Carnation Instant Breakfasts, but one of them broke open in this box. So I'm just going to like pull all these out and organize them in a little caddy that we already have for him so he doesn't have to deal with that every morning. We have a lot of miscellaneous tea stuff, so I'm going to put it all in a bin and then put it in the coffee cabinet instead of back in the pantry because it's just taking up space in the pantry and I have room in our coffee cabinet. And I put my husband's breakfast caddy thing with his instant breakfast in here too. So that kind of creates some extra space. And here is the final result of how I ended up. I've got flour and sugar. I can't believe I have a whole shelf for sugar. And then baking, all, three shelves for stuff that I bake, but I bake all the time. And then I've got two shelves for breakfast, a snack shelf here, and then my soup shelf and my bread shelf, a pasta shelf or a starches shelf, and oils and vinegars. So this pantry is really now all of my weekly stuff that I use. Our table is clear, so the project is complete. Thanks for watching and here's another video.